Okay, so it's it's the morning, and I have suggested to Nick that I make Turkish coffee under his direction because I haven't made Turkish coffee before. Well, a long, long time ago, I was shown how to make Turkish coffee in Istanbul many years ago, but I haven't actually made it, believe it or not. So. Nick's going to show me how. And my memory's not that good either. Okay. So This is just for fun, isn't okay. it? So, um, so what, yeah. we, we've got the coffee. So, yeah. So, to, for Turkish coffee... Show the packet. We need this. Yeah, you need one of them. Yeah. Which is a Turkish coffee maker. It's got a proper name, actually, but yeah, well, I, I don't know what it is. So, <laughs> could you write in the comments below what this is called in Turkish? I can't believe you know I forgot what it's hilarious. called, all right? It's been a long time since I made Turkish okay. coffee. Okay. Go on. So this is the um, Turkish coffee. We're mm. not advertising. But Shall I explain it? Um, the Turkish coffee is, is just the same as the coffee you would put in to make espresso uh, with the big machines. It's very finely ground, normal um, coffee beans. So why don't we use the other coffee? I don't know. Well, you said to, this is this is the real this because is, this is the McCoy, you know. Okay, okay so we've got our Turkish coffee, and yeah. apparently, depending on if you like it sweet or not, obviously sugar. Yeah, I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, so that's it. Oh, and water. Yeah, well, water. well, you've got to show the cups first. Okay. Show the little oh, cups. Well, I, we were given this. We were given yeah, these yeah, cups, cups as a little gift. Yeah, they're lovely. From a lovely coffee shop in Fetier. So, so first thing you need to do is to put some water. Water. Water? Yes. Water? In what? Water in the cups. Water in the cups. Yeah, so if you're making two cups, you need two cups of water. <laughs> okay, you stay there, let me just... Alright. Um, okay, so, so... So cold water. Yeah. Two cups of cold water. Yeah. One. And... Two. All right. Yep. So we've okay. got two cups of measuring salt. Yes. Then, then you uh, put in a spoonful of coffee into the cups. How big's the spoon got to be? No, sorry, a spoonful of coffee into, into the, the <laughs> into the thing we don't know the name of. Yeah. But how what how big's the spoon got what, to be? Just one one spoonful. Because this Depending is. Depending on how strong is it. So for each cup, you need one spoon of coffee. But the, yeah, but this is like a yeah, smaller a than a teaspoon sort of. Thing yeah, it's a bit smaller than a teaspoon. Okay. So one like that? Yeah, that's going to be a strong one, but oh, okay. yeah, that's fine. So Yeah, that's good. Yeah. One of those for each cup. One and two. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now, let me think about this. Yeah, that's it. Then you can, um, then you have to ask the people whether they want it sweet, which is uh, tatla, or medium, which is orta, or sade, which is just coffee on its own without any sugar. So what? So you have your sweet and I like No, my... I have mine Orta. Okay, but which is yeah. one spoonful of sugar for okay. Orta, two spoonfuls of sugar for sweet or tatla, and no sugar if it's sardi. Okay, that's great. So people will ask you, Nasalistasans, Tatlama, Ortama? My question Your question is, is because you like sugar yeah. and I don't take right. sugar, yeah. could you put it in afterwards? Ooh, that's because a I'm making one. two cups, so are we making it sardi without sugar? Put this, or... put my sugar in the cup now. Then that's the only way oh, you could do it. Okay, okay. Otherwise, you'd have to do it How separately. How much sugar do you want? In well, those cup? little, the little teaspoon like that. One of those is enough in one, one cup. Those. That's water. Oh, okay, so that's two yours. of those if you're having. Okay, what next? Yeah, boil it up. Is that all? Yeah. Okay. So that we need the right that gas one. ring. So the, yeah. the smallest gas ring, I would imagine. The smallest ring. gas ring. How high? Well, get it boiling. <laughs> yeah, but I meant, do you just... Well, so it don't burn your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't melt the handle of the jug. Okay, this is when we're going to edit and do a zoom to when it's boiling. Yeah. Okay. And when it boils, this is really interesting, right? When it boils... The first thing you do is you turn it off and you take the froth off. So as soon as it boils, you take the froth off and you put the froth in one spoonful in each cup of the froth. And then you boil it again. And you cook it, sort of, you know. Oh. So you really, you really boil the, the, uh -huh. the coffee up. No. But you've got the froth in the cup. Okay. All right. That's very important. Lots of people forget okay. that. Okay. You'll have to run that by me again when we get to, All right. when to, we the, get to the boiling point. point. <laughs> <laughs> Which is going to take a while, so a little while. We'll so we're going to go and have a cup of tea. <laughs> so it's been 
on the gas now for a couple of two or three minutes and it's just about coming up to boil so I'm hoping there's going to be some froth <laughs> is there no froth <gasps> yeah there's a tiny bit there like you can see it no he does nothing I can't <laughs> there's no froth perhaps this is what they get you to do but it doesn't really work does it I anyway. think I think the sugar makes it frothy. It must do. It might be the sugar, right. yeah. Well, let's just make this one. So, what happens now? Let's assume I've put. Yeah, the froth. so you've put the, put froth, the froth in. Froth on, and then what? You then put you it... put it back on for a little bit. Oh, okay. You just boil it gently. So turn the gas down. Gas down. Yeah. That's it. Boil it gently for a little bit. What's a little bit? I think that's probably about right, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. I'll do. Turn okay. the gas off. Okay. And. Okay, so pour it in our little cups. Well, it looks nice. We don't have any froth, though. Oh, well. Okay, so let's just do the. Um, now you've got now what you're supposed to do now? Well, you've got to let it settle, haven't you? Yeah, you're supposed to let it settle for a little for while. A little while. <laughs> yeah, because all the sediment of the coffee has to sink to the bottom. Mm. Yes, so. otherwise it won't be very nice, will it? Yeah. So because because it's not filtered. Okay, so it's been allowed to settle, and now we've got the coffee tasting test. Is that mine? Is that so, the one yeah. with the sugar? In? But I haven't stirred it. Do you want me to stir it? No, that's why you normally put the sugar in the, oh, yeah, the little thing, because yeah. you don't need to stir, stir it. Okay. So if you stir it, you get all the sediment again, wouldn't you? <laughs> He's not going to like it. It's not bad, actually. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Let me try mine. You try yours. Okay. It's a shame we haven't got the froth on the top, but if it doesn't... Not bad. It's okay. In fact, it's very nice. <laughs> so when you drink, when you drink your coffee, right down. Don't go quite to the bottom because all the sediment is in the bottom. And what you normally do is you then, when you get to the bottom, you turn your cup upside down, and somebody reads your file. Which your would file. what's file in English? Your, your future. Your yeah, your future your... because. What, fortune. That's it. They, you can tell your fortune from the grounds of the coffee and the way that they come out of your cup. Oh well, if you tipped, onto your saucer, but you we tipped, can't do it on this saucer because it's got all holes in. <laughs> if you tipped yours upside down, I'm sure it would say you'll have lots of YouTube followers. Yeah, it'd say subscribe to the <laughs> channel. It would say subscribe to our channel and hit the notification <laughs> bell. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.